Hi, Dr. Steve here. I'm going to talk to you today about the truth about ovarian cyst cures, how you can get rid of your ovarian cysts forever, effectively and naturally. Now, there's a lot of benefit to doing things right. You can get rid of those cysts within six weeks, avoiding painful surgery 97% of the time, and avoiding medicine. But basically, you have to do it the right way. You can also manage pain without heavy painkillers and also you could prevent them from happening again. You can do that but it will require some work on your part. It's not a total magic bullet here. You need to be an active participant in your health care rather than a passive recipient of pills and the like. Basically the concepts I talked to you about will help you get rid of your cyst and get your health back on track. But all I can do is basically introduce you to what you need to do and then it's up to you to get proactive. I know you can do it, and if you do, you'll be able to reduce multiple doctor visits by 75% and really be able to work with your doctor instead of um, against them, her, her, and really work as a team to be, be able to get rid of your cysts. And again, most of the time without surgery or any kind of um, medication. Now there are the top three things that I told you you must know before you use any kind of treatment. First of all, what are ovarian cysts? How do they get there? And are they all the same kind? If you didn't ask these three questions, you may be on the wrong path towards getting rid of your ovarian cyst of the specific type that you have. Someone tried to treat you without asking or answering these questions, you may be working with the wrong health practitioner, whether they're an allopath, a naturopath, or a homeopath. Don't worry, you're definitely not alone. There's millions of women who have various different kinds of cysts, literally millions, during their lifetime, and sometimes it's more than once. The key to the treatment and prevention is to realize there's really no one-size-fits-all treatment, and definitely not top-secret cures that cure everything. That'd be kind of like saying the gas that you put in your car is also very good for washing your car or putting into your cooling system. That doesn't really make sense, does it? You need something that works for the specific type of cyst that you have. You probably look for specific answers to specific problems and questions in other parts of your life. And it's the same thing. It's no different. In order to help with the symptoms of cysts while you're working on eliminating them, you also need to know why you're having the symptoms you're having. Otherwise, it's kind of like trying to treat frostbite with ice packs. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Just because it helps with various sprains doesn't mean it'll help other things. So, definitely everything isn't good for everything. One more thing, most ovarian cysts can be successfully treated medically and naturally, but ovarian tumors cannot. Tumors can be benign or malignant, and they never go away on their own, and they can threaten your life. This is a crucial distinction you need to find the answer to before wasting your time or putting off a surgery that your doctor rightfully tells you that you need. In some cases, the surgery can save your life. On the other hand, you need to know enough to talk to your doctor to avoid a surgery that you may not need, or a way to avoid medications you don't really want. In other words, there are different approaches. So what else do you need to know? Well, if you follow through and decide uh, that I can help you here, you'll probably read about some of these things. How ovaries work? Why do they form cysts? Ovarian cysts and diseases are not all the same, as I noted. You'll read about how imbalanced hormones will affect you. Is there a way to totally balance hormones? Uh, it depends on how you talk about it, but there are definitely ways to straighten out your hormonal axis by quite natural means. You can also reliably prevent, because of this, 97% of ovarian cysts. What you can do with the other 3%, though, is extremely important. Otherwise, it can get you in trouble. What mainstream remedies work and might cause you harm and what's the balance there what do you need what do you really have to look at as the benefit versus the harm what natural approaches are worth trying these are all major questions that you need answers to now there are a lot of myths that uh, can get you in the trouble and this slide alone is worth the time listening to because it'll keep you out of trouble and also from wasting money I'm assuming you're not a plastic widget. You're not all the same, but you, in fact, are a distinct human being with specific individual needs. 
Um, if you look at a number of things that promise cure-alls for everything, you know, does that seem right to you? Medicines or surgery are never needed. Is that a reasonable statement? I mean, in most cases, like I said, with this system, you can avoid it. It's basically working with your body, but not always. Also beware that if it's online or if it's in a book, it must be true kind of concept is definitely not true. Also testimonials. That means somebody's saying, oh, this worked for me. Is that better than science? Well, that person may be well-meaning and they may think something helped them, but it definitely may not have, and it is definitely not better than science, because you want to know what the chances are that something is going to work for you. And for that, you need science to help you out. Beware that internet publishers and personas are not always true experts, and everyone on the internet is not always honest, or who they say they are. I found men masquerading as women, scammers masquerading as healthcare professionals, etc. Remember, there's a business sense of buying things on the internet and selling things. Nothing wrong with selling things if it's good information, but sometimes the marketing part overshadows the helping people part. Get my drift? If you don't believe me, just Google ovarian cysts and see what comes up. Keep in mind that stuff that's controversial and sexy sells better than the truth. And I think if you're listening to this PowerPoint, you might be interested in the balanced truth instead. I'm especially upset about um, a number of sites that use before and after ultrasounds. Um, at least in one case, the ultrasound I saw isn't even one of the ovaries. In another, the ultrasound is from a public source who, you know, who knows that was related to. It's just an ultrasound picture posted on the internet. So keep in mind, everything is definitely not what it appears to be. So how do you find the truth? What do you look for in experts? Well, for starters, if you're interested in this whole approach, you want to have somebody who has a willingness to view different options, both mainstream, alternative, or what we call integrative medicine. Um, but you're looking for people. There are people out there who put up websites and they're basically nameless, faceless. They may have a name which may or may not be real. Are they Googleable? Do they have videos? Are they talking to you? Do others consider them to have some expertise so they're quoted or on multiple respected sites and not just on article directories? If you put up an article in an article directory, Anybody could do that. You can do it. You can also write a book. Anybody could write a book. So pay attention to where that expertise is from and if anybody really agrees with the fact that the person is an expert. Mainly you want to just stay away from people that are trying to sell you something and that's it without offering good information. So what can you learn from me? Well, I believe that you need to know how things work and why. It's important to know that in order to find out where you need to go. You also need to know how to talk to your doctors and what to ask them. What you can safely and proactively do yourself is important. There are some mainstream strategies you might need. Why? You need to know that. Natural strategies to fight ovarian cysts? Sure. Nutrition, herbals, diet, exercise, a lot of inter it's not just feel-good things. These are definite interactive and proactive and realistic approaches to getting rid of ovarian cysts. There's a concept of estrogen dominance. Uh, it depends on how you frame that, but in some cases, actually, it's true. And bioidentical hormones, there's a right and a wrong way to look at it. Also, xenohormones and other preventive factors. Natural symptom control, psychoneuroimmunology, all very important to know about if you're going to work with this kind of approach. So a parting uh, statement, basically, go grab a soda or whatever your beverage of choice is, read the rest of this page, it might help you by itself. But you may also find out more by reading my ebook. Either way, I want to leave you with a tip, and it may help you um, get rid of your pain while you're trying to get rid of your ovarian cysts. If you're in pain now, check this out. Try DLPA or DL-phenylalanine with exercise. As always, check with your doctor before you try anything since your individual situation may be different for any number of reasons or other medical conditions. 
but basically it may very well help you get rid of your pain. Find out these and other tips on www.aboutovariancysts.com. This is Dr. Steve. Take control of your health and take care.